Well, well, here, here's what I... Uh... Barack Obama's first interview on Arabic television offered an upbeat message and a new U.S. approach to relations with the Muslim world. My job is to communicate to the American people that the Muslim world is filled with extraordinary people who simply want to live their lives and see their children live better lives. My job to the Muslim world is to communicate that the Americans are not your enemy. With the issue of Iran's controversial nuclear program still unresolved, the new U.S. president said America was willing to offer the hand of friendship. Obama said Tehran's alleged pursuit of nuclear weapons, threats to Israel and past support of what he called terrorist organizations were not conducive to regional peace and prosperity. But he says there's now a chance for a new beginning on both sides. If uh, countries like Iran are willing to unclench their fist, they will find uh, an extended hand uh, from us. There's been more bloodshed on the Israeli Gaza border as Obama's Middle East envoy George Mitchell headed to Egypt to begin his first visit to the region in his new role. An Israeli soldier was reportedly killed and three other people wounded in a bomb attack blamed on Palestinian militants. Israeli forces opened fire and military bulldozers arrived in the area. Local Palestinian medical staff said a Palestinian farmer was later killed by Israeli gunfire. But Obama says there is hope for the resumption of Israeli-Palestinian peace talks. I do believe that the moment is ripe for both sides to realize that the path that they are on is one that is not going to result in prosperity and security for their people. There are high hopes for a new chapter in U.S.-Arab relations, but some analysts say expectations must be lowered that Obama can resolve all their problems with a wave of a magic wand. Paul Chapman, Reuters. And, and is this one way of, of... <laughs>